Hello, everyone. I'm here to talk about hats. Um, it's very hard to say um, for how long people have been wearing hats because, I don't know, hats are made from cloth and cloth sort of disappears. But one thing we know for sure is that the first image of a hat can be found in something, a place called Thebes, which is what we now know as Greece, and it's painted on the wall in a tomb somewhere. And it's about, say, oh, yeah, it's a, it's a couple of centuries before year zero, so say 2,500 years ago, maybe. Um, this is another painting of a hat. This is not a tomb. Um, so without making too large assumptions, we can safely say that people have been wearing hats for, say, 2,500 years, probably a lot longer. Um, so video games is a young medium. Compared to hats, it's a very young medium. Video games got, like, 40 years, tops, maybe 50 if you're generous, but nothing more. Um, so we're, like, hats are, or video games are a blip in the grand timeline of hats. However, hats are an integral part of video game history. Hats are very important to video games. Um, we've got countless hatted video game protagonists. Can you help me name them all? We've we got to do this quickly because I don't know. <laughs> yes. In the corner. Who more? Come on, you can do this. That's good. We got Amigo, we got Knights, we got Link, we got the King of. It's unclear whether this is his head or his hat, I don't know. The Parappa, Krumlao, and Marcus Phoenix. And even more people. We got M. Bison, we got Ness, we got. What's his name? Ash. We got the Black Mage from Final Fantasy. Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong, and Lightning Dude from Mortal Kombat, and Gomez from Fess. It's a lot of people in video games that have hats, and perhaps the most iconic of all, Mario, and less iconic maybe Luigi, but he, he tags along anyway. Uh, so there's two interesting things to note about this. Um, first, it's the time period. If we look at all these characters, they're sort of early to mid-1980s, all of them with the hats. Um, and that means something. It means... Hang on. <laughs> My whole slide thing exploded right before this. If we look at this, this is the graphics from Death Race of 1976. A very controversial game where you drove people over, the, drove over them so they die. Very controversial in the US. Um, the characters look like this. It's unclear whether he has a hat or even a face. <laughs> but something happened like in between here. So Mario in Donkey Kong has an actual face and a hat. So the graphics became good enough so you could give your characters features. And um, so like pre-1980s video game characters rarely even have faces. They're just like a shape, if at all. Um, and Mario even famously got his hat because they couldn't make his hair look good. So like, fuck it, let's give him, I don't know, eight pixels of hat. Problem solved. So that's why Mario has a hat because they couldn't work his hair out. Um, the second very interesting thing, how am I doing for time? Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, is that um, Nintendo, these are all Nintendo characters. They all have hats, all of them. Every single one. <laughs> um, and they've made a lot of hat wearing characters. Now, Nintendo has lately been sort of falling behind. These are also almost hatted, almost Nintendo characters, but they have helmets, so they don't count. Um, so Nintendo has made the only game I could find that has a hat as an actual character in the game. <laughs> Zelda, The Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap. The hat is named Enzo. He talks, and he's on your head, and shit happens. Nintendo is also the platform of choice for the game Hattress. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't know, I know about the game, but I didn't know it's Alexei Pachinov, the guy who invented Tetris, made this game too. <laughs> it's not as popular as Tetris. <laughs> you stack hats and shit happens. Um, so, moving on, moving on. Blah, 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 blah. So now, nowadays, since Nintendo aren't really doing any new characters, they're just rehashing their old ones, they had to bring in third parties to their platforms to make hatting characters. We've got Henry Hatsworth and we've got... That guy? <laughs> Professor Layton, yeah, right. And, and this is DS, the most hatted platform they have. And we've got Sack from Sack and Wiki with this amazing hat, really good. So now that Nintendo is sort of falling behind on the hat thing, we hat fans are a bit worried, but fear not. 
We have Valve, <laughs> the hat company of hat companies. They've made an entire economy out of hats. Team Fortress 2 is now financed completely by hat sales. It's amazing. There is a glorious future ahead of hats in video games, everyone. That's my presentation. <laughs> No time for questions, I guess. <laughs>